What's going on, y'all? It's uh, Cool Coloss here again. I had a, uh, another video topic I wanted to talk to y'all about that um, I thought that you all would find pretty interesting, but I wanted to, to talk to you all about how I became a good writer, how writing became one of my um, interests and what inspired me to just do um, basically what I've been doing. So, if you're watching this video and you've been on my website and you actually read my about, then you probably wouldn't even really need to hear what I got to say. But <laughs> if you haven't, then I can just elaborate on um, why I feel the way that I feel. So, um, basically, um, I became a good writer simply because I had a great teacher. I had somebody at the time who um, believed in me and um, somebody who, although this particular person was, um, she was hard on me, she definitely helped me to become uh, like a, a great writer. Then I had another teacher after that and he was, he was very, um, he was he was an intense teacher. Yeah, he was a little he was a little sarcastic. Some people called him an asshole, but I mean I I, I had no problems with him. But um, he definitely helped me to take my writing to the next level. Regardless, um, these two teachers that I had, um, I um, I think that they kind of started or building that that mold as far as like exemplifying why writing is so cool and why it's so important now. I'm not going to like lie. I'm not going to stunt. Like the reason why I'm a good writer is all my own work. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I, I put the work in. I like took the time to try to improve like my writing skills. And eventually I realized that, um, you know, I was really good at it. But I think that something very key happened with me in writing. And the one thing that I noticed that happened is that I start to actually like it because I felt that it was necessary for the things that was going on in my life. Um, I may have said this in a previous video, but I think I grew up a lot just feeling like not really heard and not really like understood. And then a lot of times like writing was my source of being able to vent and being able to reflect and being able to tell stories that are that were stored in my head. And one of my biggest like I would say vices is that I'm like a huge overthinker. Like I overthink every single thing. And so in order for me to, to not continue to, to basically drive myself crazy because I have like all this stuff like stored in my head, I start putting stuff down on paper and I start taking some of my thoughts and I start, and, and some of the things that I've experienced, some things that have happened to me. And I start putting them into like stories that I, that I um, create because it helps to kind of flush out those things. And it's in, in a way it's like therapeutic. So it's not like I'm like reliving it, but at the same time, I'm being able to get out the things that are like in my head. Um, so uh, long story short, the um, I became a good writer because I had a great teacher and that made me more inclined to want to continue to write. Now, at some point, um, I would say that I kind of... Um, had a little bit of a distanced relationship with writing at, because um, of where my career path I believed was going at the time. I think at some point um, I had a lot of things again that have happened in my life that have made me want to, you know, come back to it and um, circle back to why it was important to me in the first place. And, um, you know, really being able to put down on paper the things that I've always, um, you know, held true in my life. And I kind of had this realization that if I wasn't pursuing my writing, then I'd be doing myself a great disservice. That is my superpower. Writing is my superpower. The, the way I'm able to tell stories and envision, um, envision my ideas where they make sense and they're interesting and people love to read them. And I love to go back and read the things that I, that I wrote. I think that it's unmatched for me. I really think that, uh, not to be arrogant, but I think that I, like nobody can do it better than me. I really don't think so. I mean, like, um, you know, there's a lot of great storytellers out there and they deserve all their props. But um, no, you, ha you just haven't seen Cool Colas yet. You haven't really seen everything that Cool Colas has to offer. And I think that um, for me, falling back in love with writing and not seeing it as some type of just side hobby um, really kind of, um, helped me to just come into fruition with a part of my personality that I should have never really like kind of put on, um, on the, on the down low. 
Download's probably not a good word, but uh, like I, I just didn't pay attention to it as much as I should have, I guess is what I'm getting at. Anyway, so um, the lesson that I have here in this video specifically is that um, a lot of the time when um, you are doing something that you're passionate about, I think that a couple things have to happen. Number one, you have to have the, um, I think the things that you're passionate about um, have to be drawn from um, a certain reason that, you know, like you find fulfillment in it. You have to be able to be self, like to be self-aware and to know why it is that you're doing what you're doing. And for me with writing, I know that the main reason is because I needed an outlet to be able to get my voice out there in the way that I wanted to be able to get it out there and to be able to express myself in every thought that I that I've had out there. So I, I think that that's a writing day for me. So if you're somebody who's watching this video, one thing that I would say is that if you're passionate about something that you should um, really take a look at what makes you passionate about it and hold on to that because that is definitely going to help you to come into fruition of your own personality. The other thing I would say is that you need a good teacher. I think that um, if you, I mean, you can learn something on your own and maybe you could be your own good teacher. I mean, everybody like, you know, does things and learns things differently. But I think that a lot of times people, um, they teach from a place of um, resentment and jealousy. Like they want other people to struggle the same way that, that, that they did. So a lot of times when people try to connect with other people who could potentially help them or teach them to do the thing that they're interested in doing, they get kind of turned off because, you know, I think like I think those are factors. I think, you know, a lot of people, they've had to struggle in the things that they do, that whether they're passionate about or whether they're not. And then they don't teach other people from a place of uh, genuine uh, desire to make things better, you know, for them and for them to be able to you know, create their own outlet. So with me in writing, um, I've never really personally experienced that because the teachers who did guide me um, definitely like help, like were, were good at it, adhering to my talent. Um, I didn't really feel discouraged or like, you know, it was something that I sh just shouldn't do anymore or or that feeling of a uh, man if there's people like that and what I'm doing right now then I don't need to be I don't need to be doing this and eventually what I had to learn was um, once I had like a good teacher um, that like you know believed in what I was doing like eventually like as I kept doing it and I kept being encouraged you know I was able to like just just keep doing what um what I was what I was doing you know um, it's not that I necessarily even needed a push, you know, and um, or anything like that. But I think that it was very um, inspiring to see people care about your your success um, in something that you you like genuinely care about. I think it's like very important to be able to connect with people who inspire you in that way. Now, again, like sometimes you got to pat yourself on the back. Sometimes you got to be able to, you know understand that even if you're alone that like if it's important to you that's the important thing but it's also like a very good feeling just to have a good teacher who is willing to help you to uh strive to the levels that you know you really want to go to so i think those are like the the big things and the big takeaways from um me personally as to why i'm i'm writing to this day as a as a 30 year old man and um and why i like was able to kind of like keep that passion um, inside of me. I just realized that those are the two things that really kind of like just resonated. So I guess like what I wanna do uh, with creating this brand that I'm creating is I wanna inspire other people as well too. Uh, again, I don't wanna teach from a place of, um, ever ever teach from a place of like resentment or, or jealousy where like um, I'm, I'm basically struggling to get myself out there or struggling to be able to, um, you know, allow people to see what I have to offer. And then like the next person comes around and they are just like cool cola or a lot like cool colas. And then I tell them, you got to do everything that I did. No, I want to be able to create a pathway for them to be able to more easily express their, uh, their selves. Because the idea is that you want to be able to make sure that everybody is having an opportunity to put their stamp into the world. And that doesn't mean that they're not gonna, you know, work to do it. It just means that you're, um, you know, not 
doing it from a place of uh, of pain and, and anger and trauma. So um, I think for me, uh, becoming such a great writer was practice, but it was definitely a lot more like um, desire than it was practice. Um, I think that I had the talent, you know, I, I was pushed in a direction that was encouraging and helpful. But at the same time, like I actually like found, you know, enjoyment from it. And it also was a way for me to be able to, um, you know, have something to go to um, that was cre that that allowed me to be creative, like allowed me to to fl to flush out a lot of my thoughts, but also to you know put my own little like creative spin on it. And that's why um, I say that um, it's important for you to just be self aware and just to figure out what it is that is um, is your passion, is your superpower. Um, the other thing and the other reason why um, I would say that. I was inclined to become such a good writer is because what I realized is that I didn't just have like talents in one place. I I realized that my writing skills just are are vast. Like I'm able to write books. Um, I, I'm in the process of trying to publish my first novel. As a matter of fact, I write books, fiction, nonfiction. I have some nonfiction ideas. I have um, comic scripts that I've written. I've been trying to get into screen plays recently and people have been loving that. And um, I've, I've written poems that were pretty good. I haven't done that so much lately, but I did that a lot like in my high school years and in the past and, my, and, I, and I was like really good at that as well too. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think that I have like a lot of really cool creative ideas that um, I think that need to, you know, go out as stories. And I think that they can bring a lot of um, inspiration to others because ultimately that's what I'm here to do is to inspire others and to put myself on the map and to be able to show everything that I got and to just be able to smile when I see everything that I've like written and worked for to just come to life because really like that that's that's really what you do as a writer is like you bring things to life you bring the imagine you bring the the intangible to like nearly tangible you know so that's it. Um, anyway, that's, you know, the little video that I had um, for you all on this topic specifically. Um, there's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, content to come, but I appreciate any any and everybody who had a chance to check out this video and kind of um, just get an idea and a feel for um, why, um, how I became such a great writer and um, why it was so important to me, why writing is so important to me. And anyway, um, I hope everybody who has watched this has a good night and continues to support me because I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later.